fashion show today will be a movie review in this one which is uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania so let's begin um, yeah uh, before seeing this movie I do have a high expectation on this movie yeah, because um, there are some like uh, news articles saying that um, this is going to set up the um, the Kang Dynasty and Secret War Avengers with a movie which is going to be came out in 2025 so yeah and after seeing it yes it do set up the um, the Avengers Ken Dynasty movie and Secret Wars and also Loki season 2 so yeah um, I know this movie has been came out by the time of this um, the movie has came out like two weeks ago but I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload this video like next week so we, we just see by the time of this like uh, three months, so we just see when I want to upload this video. Um, but <clears throat> but yeah, before seeing this this movie, I have a high expectation, and after seeing it, it is pretty good. Not gonna lie, I do I do really like it. I would say it is better than the second one. I would say, but unfortunately, the critic didn't think so. The critic thinks that this movie is pretty bad. So I I see some of like uh Facebook comment, uh, Instagram comment on. The uh, articles about the uh, this movie and stuff saying that they do really like it. Um, so most of the uh, people really like this movie, but unfortunately the critics didn't really like it. So, um, this movie kind of like drop down. Um, it's kind of uh, the same level critic as the um Thor: The Dark World and also uh Eternals. Unfortunately, but most people really like it. I don't know why critics didn't really like it. I mean, it didn't make sense, but it, it's their opinion, of course. Uh, so, uh, people have their own opinion and I feel like most people will agree with me that this movie is not as bad as the uh, critics uh, said it was so yeah um, overall um, this movie is 2 hours and 5 minutes so at first I thought it was pretty short it kind of feels like it I, I feel like there's some uh, things that could have been a bit like uh, make it a bit longer like for example at the beginning of the movie maybe we could see Scott live after the um, uh, end game a bit more longer uh, a bit more yeah a bit more longer would be pretty cool to see his life a bit more longer would be pretty cool to see like um, behind uh, to see like a Cassie Lang um, how Cassie Lang uh, you know like um, help the uh, people with the um, blip itself of course so it will be good to see that but I guess not I guess not it might be it might have been cut or something I don't know but yeah we um, unfortunately I think um, we see that for like about 10 minutes only and then after that all of them is in the quantum realm uh, yeah it is where I'm actually not universe quantum realm I would say so Let's get to the uh, spoiler itself. This movie maybe came out for a while, so I'm guessing it's okay for me to talk the uh, spoilers uh, for this movie. But <clears throat> this movie feels like a Star Wars movie. Um, just to be honest with you, this movie feels like a Star Wars movie. <laughs> straight, straight, straight up feels like a Star Wars movie for, uh, to me. I feel like most people also agree with me. If uh, there's too many creatures um, that looks like it could have been in the Star Wars movie so yeah the Quantum Man uh, Quantum Man feels like a Star Wars realm to me a uh, Star Wars universe to me I feel like so yeah which is um I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing but I guess since Star Disney uh, Star Disney owns Star Wars so I'm guessing it is fine since um, I feel like they also Easter egg stuff so I feel like it is fine for them to like make this um, quarter when uh, people looks like a Star Wars character I feel like so that is not a complaint for me I guess um, uh, what else uh, Mordok we see Mordok in this movie which is um, played by Devon Cross so I forgot the actor name but played by Devon Cross and unfortunately he has been killed off in this movie there is so much potential I get um, Modo is like Illuminati in the uh, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness kind of feel like a bit uh, kind of feels like a waste so uh, um, Modo in the comic book is way more stronger than this way more like a serious not like this Darren type of um, Darren type of attitude you know being a dick so <laughs> yeah not that type of thing in the comic not that type of model in the comic um, would be pretty good to see more of him but I'm guessing since it is multiverse stuff we are probably going to see him 
in the other universe so i'm not so sure if Devon cross is the modok in the other universe for the uh, this multiverse uh, this mcu but we shall see hopefully not hopefully it will be played by other actors uh, i'm not so sure who which actor that will be suitable to play modok but we shall see um, but there's some people complain about the uh, modok cgi uh, <coughs> it kind of a bit wacky i would say the cgi face a bit wacky i'm not gonna lie but i feel like it is it didn't bother me that much to not like the movie you know to not like really like critic the movie that much i feel like the cgi is understandable since um since there's a lot of project uh coming up for the uh, mcu so i'm guessing the editor and stuff did have really have time to like um perfect things up so i'm guessing it's fine uh kang so kang the main villain in this movie perfect more than uh I, would, I wouldn't say he I feel like he is powerful than the Atenas but he is perfect I do really like um, the I do really like Kang in this movie uh, Jonathan Majors yeah Jonathan Majors who plays Kang in this movie perfect I do really like him he is powerful he is more way like uh, menacing than the Atenas I would say so yeah that is the just the glimpse of one of the abundance uh, of the Kang so yeah if that is the most powerful Kang um, unfortunately, um, looks like uh, he's been killed off too, but not so sure if if he's been killed off or what. Um, probably not. I'm guessing not since since uh, the uh, writer of the Ken Dynasty is writing up the uh, the Ken Dynasty right now and hinting that um, he might be alive. Um, I think I saw some article somewhere that saying that one of the uh, uh, Baden of the uh, Kang is the most powerful one so I'm guessing um, the Kang in this uh, quantum movie did not been uh, have not been killed yet so yeah um, if that is the most powerful Kang I would love to see him again in the um, uh, the Kang Dynasty I'm pretty sure hopefully we are going to see him uh, in the uh, Kang Dynasty we shall see um, powerful we like him a lot uh pretty brilliant pretty smart so yeah there are some uh like uh some theory saying that the um the second credit scene which is going uh, which is led to the uh, loki season two we saw the second credit scene um loki and mobius is going back into like time in like 90s or 80s i don't know what the uh, timeline for that but going back in the time um, to see the uh, first ever variant of their Kang which is Victor Timely and some theory saying that Victor Timely is that Kang of the um, um, uh, Victor Timely is like the Kang actually the Kang from the uh, Quantum uh, Quantumania movie I feel like maybe it is so kind of looks like it so yeah because I feel like in Loki season 2 we are going to see him uh, we're going to see Loki and Mobius like going to the uh, each different alternate universe, each different timeline, pruning this Kang so that, um, so that all of this Kang will be like disappeared from the uh, universe, from the uh, realm itself. So yeah, um, excited for Loki season two also. Uh, the um, first credit scene is just a setup for the uh, the Kang dynasty. We saw a few different version version of the uh, Kang. Um, the one that I know is um, the most like uh, one that I know is Ramatad, which is the um, uh, the um, Egyptian type of um, Kang. We saw um, the modern type of Kang, which is the um, um, uh, kind of like Ultron to me. So I feel there are some theories saying that that is the uh, Kang from the uh, 838 multiverse, uh, 8, so 838 universe, which is from the um, Illuminati universe. I could see that maybe it is from the uh, that universe so we shall see but that that Kang is looks also looks pretty powerful also I feel like so yeah looks pretty menacing pretty angry pretty powerful also so yeah we saw the um, I forgot the uh, the name of the um, the one with the um, the purple type of thing I forgot already um, and then we saw a glimpse of the a few other variants. I feel like we saw a scroll Kang. I mean, they can look like a scroll to me. There's, there's like a, a bit second looks like a scroll to me. So I'm not so sure. Um, yeah. Um, the 
they are summoning the um, this Ramata, the um, I will just call it I forgot the uh, name Centurion Centurion Kang Centurion Kang and also the uh, 838 uh, 8 Kang is like summoning all of these different Kang actually from the uh, different universe different timeline to fight the um, the one that the one who touches this um, sorry the one that touches the um, multiverse uh, the um, timeline which is I feel like the most uh, I feel like Ant-Man touches the timeline Doctor Strange Loki of course so yeah this um, this uh, this main like uh, uh, main heroes uh, main Avengers heroes that we are going to see in the canon uh, stuff so yeah <coughs> Uh, what else? Uh, Cassie Lang Introduction to Cassie Lang I really like it Unfortunately that test be replaced Is it a good thing? Okay So Okay Um, I forgot the uh, name of the uh, actress But uh, Pretty great job uh, Playing the uh, Cassie Lang I do really like uh, her in the movie She did not really like shine a lot so yeah, she didn't like really take the spot of the um, Scott Lang as the uh, end man in this movie. So yeah, uh, pretty cool. And I guess um, the reason why uh, critic did really like the movie is we did see Louis, the ex con, you know, Scott Lang fan in the uh, end man first end man movie and the uh, end man in the Wasp movie. So we did see Louis, we did see. Uh, Baba Yaga unfortunately so I mean <laughs> uh, yeah there is also a complaint of me I feel like it would be bad it would be great to see them just a glimpse of them so like I've told before it would be pretty cool to see a bit longer extension of the uh, starting of the movie but unfortunately uh, nope so yeah um, what else uh, Jennifer Van Nine, uh Hank Payne Hank Payne is like the code in the movie <laughs> He do um just like um he really likes Anne so yeah and apparently the his Anne is also kind of like stuck together with uh all of them in the uh, quantum realm and they evolved throughout the years in just a few minutes so yeah yeah Kang is just the code in the movie I would say it's pretty cool with his Anne and stuff so we like him a lot in this movie uh hope. Um, hope Van Dyne in the comic book accurate suit in the comic book look uh, comic book accurate look we really like it I do really like the um, the easter egg there which is the um, short hair hope which is um, the um, warps that I know the warps that I know from the uh, comic book so with the uh, short hair and the um, the suit with the uh, yellow and black uh, mixed together we really like that a lot so I do really like the uh, comic book reference there uh, I guess let's see. Hey, so yeah, overall, I feel like my bad. I feel like um, the critic is just um being uh what do you call it? Some people have their opinion. I feel like critic is one of them. So yeah, most people have their own opinion. So uh, I feel like critic is just being critic with this movie so just being as the uh, same level as Thor the Dark World and Eternals I don't think um, this movie is that level you know I feel like this movie will be uh, I would say in the um, uh, Captain America First Avenger probably uh, Guardian of the Galaxy probably volume 1 and 2 so it's kind of that level you know not like a low low level as the um, Thor the Dark World and Eternals I feel like so if I have to give this movie rating I will give it probably like uh, maybe 7 or 8 out of 10 it is pretty good I would say highly recommend uh, if you still haven't watch it definitely watch it if you want to know what is coming up for the uh, Loki season 2 and also the Avengers Kang Dynasty so, and Secret Wars also so I feel like yeah you should definitely watch the movie but I guess this is okay if you do do subscribe mention a comment and share you to see a more movie view so God of the Galaxy will be coming up on May so it's like uh, two months away from the um, from the release we decided to see that but before that, um, DC we got CSM, uh which will be coming up in uh, coming out in the uh, two weeks time. So I'm definitely going to review that one first. 
uh, which is Shazam Fury of Cop unfortunately that movie also got a low rating we shall see then it is the critic some people have their own opinion but we just see hope I do have I do have expectation on the SSM Fury of God's not gonna lie I, I, not really high as the end man and the watch Quantumania but a big expectation on the um, this movie but we shall see when this came out so yep and bye